everybody, man. Welcome back to part two of the LA journey, man. How has it been going for me, man? It's been a month and about a half now, and this is my update for y'all, man, so y'all can see how it's going. Hey, man, cue that intro. So let's get right into it. How's it living in LA? Listen, y'all. Man, listen. I fucking love it. All right? Like, there's no other way to say this. From the weather to, like, the beautiful people to everybody being, not everybody, but like, a lot of people just being fit to the ambitiousness to the creatives to, like, I wrote down some shit, to the opportunities. That's probably the biggest thing. Anything you want to be, you could be in LA. And that may be an actual slogan somewhere, but, like, that shit is so real. Like, there is so much opportunity here. It's, it's borderline mind-blowing. You feel me? Like, it's like, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, yeah, let's just start off there. Now, let's get into it. Let's get into the shit I know y'all really want. Something I'm about to teach y'all, okay? Y'all know that I'm a person of the mind. Philosopher-type vibes. I did a lot of, do a lot of research, a lot of self-development. I have a hell of a sense of self. And so, I can, like, kind of... And I'm a big picture person, so I can see like the bigger thing. Like I don't always keep the camera on me. Like I can trajectory it out of the world and like see things from a different perspective. And so like I learn things a lot faster than others do because of this. And it's not that like I'm not saying I'm like the smartest person on the planet or nothing, but I just I have a I have a keen sense of awareness. Like that's just who I am. And so first thing I want to mention is having a sense of self will take you a far place here. Okay it's going to be super tough if you come to LA and you don't know who the hell you are because LA is just going to make you into something that you definitely not and probably not going to be able to hold up that image okay so having a sense of self is going to be super important before you come here because like you just you need to know who you are you need to know what you are after and those things can pivot but you need to be solid enough to stand on your own two feet or the, the city is just going to swallow you up like I'm telling you it's happened to so many people y'all y'all just can't even imagine um now how to navigate this place. Who? So, LA is like social media, if I'm being real. LA is like a game, okay? Y'all know on social media, people can like fake it till you make it, right? The thing is, like, some people do that in LA too, but the difference with LA is that, like, if you, you can actually fake it to success, like, I mean, I guess the same way with social media, but like, I think it's a little bit tougher. But like, in LA, if you decided to spend your money, and I'm going to swing all this around full circle. But if you decided to like buy Benz, right? But you really couldn't afford it. It took away your last. But you pulling up two events in that Benz, someone would be like, who could this be? Or when you talk in your talk to people and then you go get in the Benz, people are like, oh, this person must, this must be somebody. Let me try to get connected. Let me try to, and you could possibly move up the ladder. I've never done it. I, I've heard of a couple stories. But like figuring it till you make it is actually a thing here. Like, it's actually normal. So if that's your vibe, you probably could be really successful at it. Now I want to flip to, like, being authentic. So, like, and I know I'm kind of jumping right now, but this, this all going to flow together. So if you're an authentic person, it's going to be a little bit tough for you. What do I mean by that? Because I'm a super authentic person. I just like being genuine. I like being solid. I like being who I am. But that gets you in the room with people, okay? That gets you to meet people because if you got personality, people think you're solid, that's cool. But that shit don't get people to the next level. What do I mean by that? It's about moving with intention, okay? So if you're a dope ass person, cool as shit, right? But you meet somebody who has ambitions, I don't know, to become a rapper, right? I can't provide shit to nobody that wanna become a rapper, right? Like I don't have no fucking benefits for them to become a rapper. Like, so I don't we're, we don't, we're not comparable in that sense. And so most likely, no matter how dope or cool we are when we met, Shit, we just probably not gonna keep in contact because we don't offer a benefit to each other. Like, and that's just the reality here that you gotta, but you gotta come to understand it yourself and start asking yourself, what benefits do I provide? Like, there were certain things at one point I was doing, like, cause I do, I got benefits, you know what I mean? I'm connected to some things or whatever. And even outside of that, like, I'm fit. And so I know, like, my training shit, like, I've dated the, the fucking number three bodybuilder in the world. So, like, I know my training shit. I know nutrition. I know these things. But these are benefits. But so when people are like, hey, can I work out with you for free? No. Like, you could do it maybe for the first time or the second to just get to know them and figure out kind of who they are as a person. But you just out here, that shit you just don't be doing just because. It's like, you got to figure out, okay, but what do you offer? Like, and that's a norm here. 
Like, and some people don't like it. Or you'll hear a bunch of people complaining about everybody's fake or everybody's this. But it's not that. It's that people trying to get to the fucking next level. And if you don't offer shit but a smile and you want to go drink every weekend, every, anyone can do that. You aren't special. Like, you weren't doing nothing. And it's something that you got to stomach as a person when you get here to just recognize that, like, this shit is bigger than you. It's bigger than your fucking happy hour drinks every day. You know what I mean? And, like, people want to really be great. People want to get to, like, seven figures, uh, Fortune 500 status out this mother flipper. And, like, if you don't recognize that, that, like, you don't have anything to help that person get to that level, nobody going to want to fuck with you. And it's just a fact. Okay? And, like, and if you don't offer nothing, like then it's just gonna be so hard to fool with you. And, and in the very beginning, shit, it may just be sex. I ain't trying to like make nobody no prostitute or nothing. I'm just a, but I'm just saying like, trying to like, out here, it's a benefit scale game, okay? Like, what can you provide for me? Like, and it's just a reality, okay? And so like, I would say, if that's something you feel like you can't get over, still come. But just be aware that it's gonna be a little bit tough. Like, and if you don't have no benefits right now, that's okay. You can get those. But, like, you just need to recognize that, like, that shit is going to matter here. Like, and I just want to be, like, 100% honest with everybody. Because, like, even my guy, like, from the UK, he um he edited my intro video for me. Just sent it to me. I just met him last week. We got to chat. And, but, shit, he offered something and I offered something. So, we had benefits to each other. And, like, bam, he knocked out my joint for me. And me and him was talking about this. And I was telling him about it. Because he's, like, a super authentic, genuine person, too. And, like, he was even like, yeah, man, it's been so tough for me to adjust to this. Because, like, I tried to just show people love. And he even said exactly, exactly how I want y'all to understand that I try to show people love just on some chill shit, but like people here just want to take advantage of it more. And it's not that they're like, it's not that they being malicious. It's just like, they're like, oh, well shit, if it's, if you doing shit for free or you just doing shit to look out, fuck it. I'm going to just do that. And I'm going to keep my benefits to myself. You know what I mean? It's just their thoughts. And you as a human being are not just going to change LA. I just, and, and it's sort of my rule that I always tell people is no one is bigger than the game. Okay, and so if you come out here thinking you bigger than LA and you just gonna change how motherfuckers operate, you a damn fool. All right, like I just want you to know that. Like you gotta understand the game and you gotta play the game. You gotta get in it and you gotta make shit happen. And that is how you get to that next level. And it's just a fact. All right, so come out here with that knowing it in your mind. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean that's really all. It's been only a month and a half. You feel me? So right now, what I'm doing on my end is recognizing like the my next stage for me so i'll get this to y'all first it's just um i've been networking a lot more meeting meeting a lot more people and like what i've been recognizing is like i need to now even shift some of the places i go to so i can meet certain types of individuals because you gotta recognize like not trying to be funny if all you're doing is going to the club and bar i don't do this but i'm just like using an example if all you do is go to the club and bar you meet those type of people um i'm not saying that those type of people can't get you to where you need to go but like most times they can't you know what i mean and so you got to like ingratiate yourself into like different type of events there's always networking events going on there's always different things like popping and moving so like you got to get yourself to those places to be able to meet the type of people to get you to the next level shit even gyms like you go to la fitness and you can meet certain types of people but shit if you go to equinox you're gonna meet a total different set of people y'all know like you just got to understand that you gotta understand that out here like and that's how you make shit happen for yourself so we only a month and a half in but i've taught y'all some shit that people don't know here for years and i really hope if you end up coming here that you utilize that like to the best of your ability because it's gonna matter with your own personal success and i wish everybody the best man and we are closing out this video see y'all in the next one